Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this classic holiday red lip look, which is perfect for any event that you're going to this holiday season. And I break out some of my favorite seasonal products, my favorite red lips, my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products, and everything that is just extra like glitzy and glam for the holiday season. So if you wanna see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. To start off, I'm gonna prime my eyes, of course, with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm just going to dab this on with a damp beauty blender. And then I save this palette all year just for Christmas time. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Dolce Vita palette. And it has just the most like beautiful, like Christmassy, holiday-y, like shimmery shadows in it. So I'm gonna take my large fluffy E40 brush by Sigma and take the light tan shade and just sweep this all over the lid and up to the brow bone just to set the um, primer and kind of start off a nice shimmery base for the whole eye look. And then once that's on there, I'm going to continue on with the same big fluffy brush and take this kind of reddish browny shade and just take a little teeny tiny bit of that, tap off the excess and sweep this through the crease. And this just really is a nice warm color, kind of beefs up the crease and makes it look a little bit more smoky. So I love this color. This whole palette is just beautiful if you want like an all over shimmery look, which is what you're going for if you're using Charlotte Tilbury products. Okay, so that's nice and easy, and you can even leave a look there if you're just going for an everyday look with this palette, but I'm gonna go in with a little um, bit of a denser brush. This is an E25 brush from Sigma, and I'm going to take the dark, like, taupey brown shade and just get a little bit of that on the brush and then work this into the outer V of the eye just to deepen it up. I'm just kind of taking it this way instead of this way just to kind of add some definition in the outer corner. So I just kept adding that into the outer corner until it's a nice um, color that I wanted. It's not too dark because I'm wearing this through the daytime and then also into the evening. So if I was doing an evening look, I would kind of really beef up that darker color to make the whole look a little bit smokier, but I'm gonna leave it here for now and then go in with the most exciting shade, which is this glittery gold shade. And I find that this applies nicest with the finger. So I'm just taking some on my finger and then I'm going to press this into the eyelid. And this just kind of stamps the glitter onto your eye and makes it extra shiny. I find when you apply it with the brush, you kind of lose some of the shimmer. And these eyeshadows all have a lot of fallout, so that's why I'm doing the eye makeup first. I do my eye makeup first always for that reason, but particularly with these Charlotte Tilbury products, they really do um, have a lot of fallout, I find. So definitely do your eye makeup first because you don't want to ruin all the hard work you do on your foundation and concealer by having glitter fall into it. Okay, so the glitter's on, and then I'm just gonna take that big fluffy brush and kind of work through the crease again just to blend everything in and make sure there's no harsh lines between all these shadows that we applied. And then of course there's tons of fallout under my eye, so what I'm gonna do is take a Q-tip to wipe that away. And you might wanna go in with a uh, makeup wipe or something because this glitter is really intense and really just sticks into the skin. I'm hoping that my concealer will just kind of cover it up so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. And for eyeliner, I'm just gonna create a nice wing. So I'm gonna use my regular Maybelline um, Unstoppable Eyeliner and Onyx and my Kat Von D Trooper Liner. And then I'm going to create the wing and be right back. Eyeliner is on, so I'm gonna continue on with mascara and I'm going to use my Estee Edit Edgiest Mascara. It's the double-ended one. So I always go in with the volume side first and then the lift side second. And now the eyes are done, I'm going to move on to foundation and I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Foundation and I have mine in the shade two, which is the best shade for me in the Armani foundations. And this is just my like go-to like event foundation because it's, first of all, it has SPF 25 in it, but there's no um, flashback and the color match is just like absolutely perfect for me. Like this is probably the best match foundation that I have. So I really like it for like events or something like this, like a holiday look. So I'm just buffing in one pump into the T-zone and then I'm going to take another pump onto the cheeks just to make sure I cover everything. And then I'll probably do one more pump just to get full coverage because I have some really um, gnarly looking breakouts at the moment and I want those to be covered. Foundation's on and I really like the Power Fabric foundation, especially because it's supposed to be long wear and high coverage. So I find that it lasts really well on my skin. And now we're going to move on to concealer and just use the old standby, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Dark Circle Corrector Concealer. So I'm just going to take this under the eyes and then I'll blend it in with my finger. And now I'm going to set the under eye concealer with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm just going to pick some of that up on the corner of my damp beauty blender to dab under the eye and set that into place. And to set the entire face, I'm going to use my Osmosis Color Mineral Pressed Base in Fair on a big fluffy brush just to set the foundation all down. 
So far this look is a really classic holiday look with like the gold shimmery eye and then the full coverage long wear foundation. And then I'm also going to continue on with a warm toned brush and this is my Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast which is just probably my absolute favorite bronzer. So I'm going to take this on a Real Techniques um, duo fiber face brush just to kind of warm up the face. Bronzer is on and now I'm going to use another oldie but goodie and that is MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight and this is just like perfect for like any kind of classic makeup look. To me this is just the classic highlighter. It's like a nice champagne shade, really um, subtle but also effective in giving you a nice glow. So I'm going to get this all over the cheekbones and I think this just goes really well with the eye look. And I'm also going to dab a little bit of the soft and gentle on the top of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Okay, and for blush, I'm going to continue on the Charlotte Tilbury train and use the Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop First Love Blusher, which looks like this. And this is just a really subtle kind of bronzy blush shade, nothing too pink or like bright, just really subtle and just kind of gonna warm up the cheeks. And I think this ties in with the eye look really well. Because this look is an all over warm toned kind of holiday warm look. I'm going to use a warmer toned brow pencil and I'm going to use my Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade 3, which I find is just a lot warmer than a lot of the other brow pencils that I prefer, but I really like the like color of I like the color of this because it goes on like really easily and is very pigmented right off the bat, so you don't have to kind of build it up forever. It's not like some of the waxier pencils where you're kind of sitting there drawing on your eyebrow for a really long time trying to get color. Like as you can see it already looks totally filled in the tail and I've barely gone over it. So I really like this formula for that reason but the color is just a little too warm for me because my hair is so cool toned I feel it doesn't really match most of the time. But for a warm toned look I think this will tie everything together. And I just really wish they had a different shade because I think shade number four is just too dark and would look too harsh on me and this one is just too warm. But if they have a shade that's good for you, I definitely recommend this formula. So the brows are filled in. I'm just going to set them with the Benefit Gimme Brow, also in shade three. And for lashes, I'm going to go back in with my Estee Edit um, Mascara and use the volume side just to coat my bottom lashes to kind of finish off the eye look. And then the only thing that will be left is the inner corner highlight. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to use another oldie but goodie because this whole look is just kind of the classic makeup look that I think everyone pulls out once a year and this is kind of my time to use all these products. So I'm going to take my MAC Pigment in Vanilla, which I used to just absolutely love for the inner corner highlight, and it's just kind of an open pigment. So I just take my ring finger and tip it over on it and it gets tons of like glittery pigment there. And then I just dab this into the inner corner and I like a really intense, messy kind of big inner corner highlight so for me that looks okay but to kind of clean it up I'll just take my little shader brush that I normally use for inner corner highlight and kind of blend it in to right where I want it but I think if you're going for a holiday look you're going for extra shimmery and glittery so a little extra glitter in the inner corner never hurt anyone Finally, it would not be a classic holiday makeup look without a red lip. So I'm going to show you my two favorite red lips and my favorite lip liner to start. So this is the NYX Cabaret Lip Liner and this is just the perfect classic red. So I'm going to line my whole lips with this and fill them in first. My lips are completely filled in with the Cabaret Lip Liner and you can honestly just leave it here and rock the lip liner as your lipstick and just put like some gloss over it or a lip balm to kind of make it shiny if you want. Like there's tons of possibilities, but I love this lip liner. And then I wanna show you my two favorite red lipsticks. Um, and both of these are cool toned reds, which I find more flattering, A, because I like cool tones a little better and B, because cool toned lipsticks make your teeth look whiter. If you have like an orangey toned red, they tend to make your teeth look really yellow, whereas these make your teeth look really white. So the first one is a liquid lipstick and this is the Sephora, I don't even know what this is called the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade number one. And this is just the best long lasting liquid lipstick formula. Like this stays on forever. It's absolutely beautiful. The color is just like an amazing, true cool toned red. And I highly recommend this if you're looking for something long lasting and you're gonna be eating and drinking, you know, cocktails and Christmas treats and whatever. So this is a good one if you're looking for super long lasting, but another option if you're looking for something just creamier and a little easier. 
is the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick in 107. And this is like a little bit of a deeper red that's definitely more cooler toned. It's got a little bit more of a purpley undertone. But this is absolutely beautiful if you just want like a drugstore option, even though this 401 is um, fairly affordable too. This is great if you want just a drugstore option that's easy and isn't gonna be like a long lasting drying out liquid lipstick. So this is what I'm gonna go with today because I absolutely love this color. So I'm just going to swipe this on on top of the liner. And I made a few mistakes, so I'm just going to clean that up with a Q-tip. And if you need to make any lines a little bit more defined, just go back in with your lip liner. So that's it for this classic party makeup look for the holiday season. I think the gold shimmery eye and bright red lip are just extra classic and perfect for any event that you might be going to. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As always, all the products I used will be listed down below. And thank you so much for watching.